hi everyone welcome back to escode in this video we are going to share a challenge that one of my youtube followers he has come to me and the, he is asking me that he want a price chart ui design for his website and he want to pay me 10 dollar for this so i take this challenge and i said him that i can i need only 10 minutes to do it so let's start this and here you can see i have at this trading pair chart and style file see as i said images i have already connected here so this here is i have closed that all tab and now we will go for this copy and body here so this all our basic style file and css everything is already set it i have added here so now this body tag here will type this display flex justify content center and here i will type this align item is center so that and this main height is 100 bit so that this all item goes to shrink in the center and here i'm adding a background image and first of all i will add a color black colors and here we will add a image that is our background image this all image link you will find in my description here so here i'm setting this with this 100 percent and background size is covered so that this image will be successfully covered this our full skin here so let's see the viewpoint and you can see this image is like this and this full skin is covered here so now here we will open this container class and here inside this container class we will add this element so let's copy first of all this and let's type for this css for this container so here we type this with this 400 pixel and here i will type this background color that is black color and here we can select this type of type of light black so let's choose this green black like this and now we can see here this is the height is we have set this 700 pixel so it's just demo testing for this he can adjust this all of its contents how much he want so here we have typed this so now we can see this all our section is almost done here so now we'll set a border radius and this 5 pixel and we'll set the box shadow so that we can see that visual that this all item is showing here this what we made this container class you can see this item is visible here so now after this container class we will make some space here and now we'll set this for this item here we'll type this header and content so for this item here we'll go for this s2 for this title first of all here we'll type a title for this here i'm typing this starting start trading that is the content title here so let's copy this class here and we will set this with previous classes content and this head content and now we'll set for margin for this item so let's set this some margin here 20 pixel and 0 and now let's set this okay set this text align center here and let's copy this and paste it here and copy paste here and now we'll type for this this font size ram now we are typing for this s1 s2 title here and this font width is 500 and color we are going to set this hashtag ff and background color we also set this for this item we are setting this background color and now we'll set this padding so 10 pixel 20 pixel here but it's showing some another type what we set here so let's set this the font size is we we'll set this okay and we set this with font fit content so that it's width is same here so like this now is still not working so let's check here so here we have mistake this is two tag so let's type but it's still not corrected here so let's see here we can see that 10 pixel we have typed this 10 pc and this font size is like that so one thing we have set here now we'll set this margin for this zero auto so that it can go to this center here so this all item is goes to center and now we'll set a background linear color change this color so here we are going to change this color and now we have did this and now let's check this viewpoint you can see it's looking like this and let's set this white color we will make a little bit of darker here so darker is almost added here so now we will go for this item here we are going to add a font of some obsidian we want to add an icon here this inside this button so here we are connecting this font of some obsidian and after connecting this obsidian here we will choose that serbon right icon so let's copy this item code here and we will paste this icon code here and this copy this class name this first here and here is we have typed this class name and this the previous section is header content is 2 and after typing this here we will set a color for this item so let's set this color and here is we are typing this background and let's set this padding some here 5 pixel and 7 pixel and also setting here this margin right from the right side it will be 10 pixel and after setting this let's see the viewpoint you can see like this so now let's we will set this border radius for this 50 percent so you can see it's one looking like a circle so now this section is almost done so now let's set this box shadow for this item so that we can see the as a glowing effect for this button 
so here we are setting this box shadow and glowing effect so I added is testing for 10 pixel but it's not looking much glowing so we can set here this pixel size will increase this it will be 30 pixel and let's check some this color of setting here so now it's looking glowing here so after adding this now we'll set here border radius is I'm setting this 5 pixel border radius so after adding this this content this classes and this system is almost updated this button here now we'll go for this header title so we want to add a header title class and copy it and now we'll type this CSS for this item here so we'll copy this container first of all and after that we'll type this class name here and now we'll set this margin and text line we'll copy paste here and now we'll remove this text line and there is margin this 20 pixel and 0 we have write this and we can change this value for this so that we can make some more decrease decreasing this item here and this I'm typing a display flex and justify content space between so that and here I'm also changing that margin is 15 pixel from left to right so now we are typing here this s2 title here so here we will type this two title for this item so I'm going to show you that images what exactly you are going to do here so you can see this two title here and now we'll show this title here so inside of this title span we are going to expand because we want to make some colorful here this text this one line text and this here this trading and after this text we will also this copy and paste in this item and type this for this another item here and this also will make this here this trading width and here this span inside of this AI board we want to make it a colorful so after adding this let's copy this s2 here and type this header dot title and this class name and s2 here will type this color is white for this item this first text and I will change this span for the different color and set this font size font to it and all everything is set here now copy and paste it so let's type this again and because of the biggest sizing we have made the mistake that is dot so let's type this color here so we are typing this color for this span inside of span tag this all item will be colorful like this so now we will set for this item all is almost done so we will set here this the font weight we have set it this by mistake 5000 so we will make it decrease that is 500 and now we will set for this margin here so let's set for this 0 and 15 pixel and we will set this margin from the top we are going to set it 30 pixel from the top so that we can see some space here but it's still not exactly so make it decrease some 50 now it's looking good here okay after adding this so now let's go to this another section for this and here we're going to make this trading container class and inside of this class we are going to add this another element for the trading chart and let's copy and paste this class and let's type css for this and here we are going to type this margin top from the top side it will be this for this item from the top some we will get some space and now we'll set this for images and all of this item here so you can see this all of item is like this so we'll make it here exactly same to same like this so here we are typing this ul and li so it will be unordered list and this order list so let's copy this ul here and paste it here first type this previous class name here so now we'll type here this display flex so that all item goes to this in one line and just by content is space between so that all item goes to same space in between ways of them and here we will type this some margin for this item here i'm typing this 0 15 pixel and here inside of this we will type this value here first of all we are adding a image that is the bit same as this and after adding this and now we are going to add some this second title here for list item so let's type this title here here i'm going to put a typing a price as you can see on these images here so i'm adding a demo images that will be that owner will be set these images so let's set this and here I'm typing this amount here after this here is span tag and here we'll type this exact value here how much have so that will be colorful and here this after this text we have this price and here this almost is here this this item here so here we'll type this some another item that is price and after this that bit is coin that will be a span tag so that we can add a color for this item so let's complete that span tag here and I will type this and now you can see this line is almost completed so now let's go to the second one but we want to copy and paste so that we can add this all item easily here so just delete this item and here we will type this just make it one line and here we will type this that is time for this 10 57 and 34 
this time and this break line will have this the transaction time so it will be the transaction time and this all of this time here what is he want to show that his time as usual so this type text is almost showing here so now we'll type this css for this item so let's type here this one padding also for this ul item and here we'll type a border bottom that as you can see on this images here so you can see this images but this images color is not showing here so let's type this color and changing this color so you can see now this color is showing here so now we'll copy this list item for this li and previous copy this and previous text and this class name and all item so here this will type this list item here this list style is none and this color will set here and this set also font size for this item and here we'll set this text align justify so that all text will be start from the starting and they justify as you can see there so you can see this all item is almost extended here and now we'll copy and paste this and here we'll type for this img tag for this image item what we added on this first year so here i'm setting some margin for this item and let's check this for this span also here we'll add a color for this span tag so that all text can be will be show as a colorful you can see there so that image is almost added here so now we'll type something for this images and this amount we have some spaces so added this spaces here and let's check the viewpoint again this image is goes to top so we need to set this images so let's set some margin for this here i'm setting some margin top that is 10 pixel and you can see now this images is looking here and now we'll set here this margin left from the left side also i'm setting a 4 pixel so that you can see this images is going to this item the center here so now we have did this item here and now change this padding here i'm setting here and then you can see got some space is of this item here top and bottom here so now we'll copy and paste this from ul start to ul start so i'm typing here this i'm typing here i'm making a five time of post here you can see like this more than five time it was so it was almost done here so now we'll change some sizes here and this item here we're going to change some this font size rem here here I'm going to make 0.8 but it's looking so much small here so let's make some increase here this 0.9 so you can see this all item is almost completed here so let's check this this font size this font to it is gone some like this so let's set this font to it and this box shadow will hide this box shadow first of all so then this is completed here you can see this all background and system is completed so thank you for joining our challenging project into this.